The Japanese have done some work with piezoelectric plastic. There was a man at Tsukubu Science City who uh, had a sort of soft worm that would fall along. And last time I talked to Philip Yam, a scientific American, he said there's some people working on plastic wire, which would be uh, an immense breakthrough because wire is so sensitive. Uh, so you get long chain polymers. So uh, basically, I guess the science, the prediction I would make is that it's going to be sort of uh, we're going to get away from having hard, boxy computers, and we're going to get into having things that are made of soft plastic. Now, in software, this soft plastic actually, it turns out the chip mold that uh, was created to kill off the um, chips of the boppers in infects the flicker cladding and forms a symbiotic relationship, like Stephen Rook was asking us to. And, uh, it, it, it provides a clock for the system, and it, it's, you have this sort of mold nervous system gets grown inside of these, these big slugs of plastic. And these are the robots that are in my third novel in the series called Free, Freeware. The Freeware, there's these creatures called moldies, and they're big, sort of about human size, kind of like a banana slug made of plastic, and they're filled with veins of... Uh, mold and algae, kind of like lichen. And uh, they use the algae for photosynthesis. They get their energy that way. The, the, the mycelia of the mold act like a nervous system. Uh, they stink. They just smell so bad. You know? So uh, there's a certain very low class kind of 